We have Special K herself in Washington, D.C. joining us now. Thank you very much for being there. Happy to do it. So, tell us about this mountain lion system. This is brand new. This is from Apple, and it updates from the lion system, right? That's right, Simon. So this is just a year after they brought out their last operating system, which was called Lion. Now, Mountain Lion is just $20, and it's available exclusively through the Mac App Store. So it's only available on a download. You can't go to an Apple store and buy a box or a USB stick with this on it. You have to download it from their store. But a lot of people will be doing that. And from what I've heard, they've had a pretty easy time of doing the upgrade to the new operating system. Katie, you said it's 20 bucks if you're upgrading from a, I guess, a recent version of the operating system. What if you've got a really old, ancient version? Yeah, in the column, I have some details about all the different versions of Macs that we'll work on. It gets pretty uh, complicated. There are several different types of computers that it will work on. But, um, but if you have a much older computer, you won't be in luck here. Uh, it works best on the most recent computers. And there are two features in Mountain Lion. One is called Power Nap, and the other is called AirPlay Mirroring. And those will only work on the most recent Macs. And that includes the MacBook with Retina display, which I wrote about about a month ago, which is a beautiful MacBook, but of course it's more expensive and uh, it has some hardware features that will allow these features to work in Mountain Lion. Okay. Now, what, 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 um, what were your favorite things about this? Yeah, so this operating system really draws a lot of parallels between your iOS devices, those being the iPhone or the iPad mm -hmm. or the iPod Touch, and between those and your PC. So it's really kind of mushing those things together and making you comfortable on your PC like you are already on your iPhone, for example. So things like messages, including iMessages, will be incorporated here. Uh, you can use dictation. So anywhere that you can type, you can also now talk by double tapping on the function key on your keyboard. Uh, it also includes... Now, Katie, let's talk, let's talk about the dictation. How did you find that dictation? I found it just to be fine. It worked just as well for me as it has on the iPad or the iPhone. Now, that's not to confuse it with Siri, which is the iPhone's digital assistant. That's something completely different. So you'll still have to hit uh, different keys on your keyboard to actually perform functions. So say I want to update my Facebook status. I can use dictation and speak that Facebook status but then I'll have to reach over and press a key to actually post the status. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, now Notification Center, that was one of your favorite features as well. What, um, what is that? Yeah, I like Notification Center a lot for what it does. It's really cleaning up all the messages and alerts that you're getting from calendar or email or uh, Twitter or messages from people. It's putting them into a nice, long, uh, parallel kind of a, a screen, a panel that comes out from the right side of your screen. And it's, it's neatly kept there and it can go away, which is great. But there were some weaknesses in notifications. For example, they want to let you use Twitter or Facebook very easily from notifications, but they're not fully baked. So if you paste a URL into Twitter, it won't automatically shorten. And you'll only see the at replies or direct messages from people that you follow on Twitter, not just from anyone on Twitter. So Apple says they'll be fixing this in an upgrade to the operating system. What, what else didn't you like about it? Um, it? It really does a nice job, and it's comfortable for people who mm. are used to using the iPhone and iPad. So it's not like I hated this at all, but there were some weaknesses, like I just mentioned, with Twitter and Facebook isn't quite ready yet. Um, and I had some trouble with Calendar. I couldn't log into Calendar using my Google Calendar. Uh, again, I troubleshooted with Apple for a long time, and they said they'll try to keep working on it. So uh, just a few bugs, and that's pretty normal with a new operating system. They have to work out some kinks and um, some things that they forgot to add, frankly. So, uh, But for the most part, this is a really nice, comfortable operating system. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Katie Brett, Special Thanks, K herself. Man.